Usman Khan, the attacker, was given an indeterminate jail sentence, wasn't he, um, for being convicted of a, of a plot to blow up the London Stock Exchange. Overturned on appeal, he was then released after spending uh, eight years in jail. Of course, his original sentence was 16 years. Do you think that people convicted of terrorism offences need to serve a full prison sentence? I think it depends on the circumstances, depends on the sentence, but crucially depends on what they've done in so prison. So not necessarily uh, then? No, not necessarily, no. I think there has to be an examination of how our prison services work and crucially what happens to them on release from prison. And um, you said previously that um, Shamima Begum, the uh, Islamic State bride, should be allowed to return to the United Kingdom. Are you still concerned about the idea of stripping um, British people from their citizenship if they do go to fight for jihadist causes abroad? Yes, because if you strip away their citizenship, where are they going to go? But some would listen to you and say, you know, you, you don't say, you're not saying that terrorists should have to serve their full sentences. Um, you're not saying that you're going to give increased powers to the security services. You're not saying that you're going to make it more difficult for jihadists to return to the United Kingdom. Is this man going to keep me safe if he's Prime Minister? Those jihadists that return are going to return to have to face questioning. If we let them loose into an ungoverned space like Libya, we're all in greater danger in the long run. It is making us safer by preventing the growth of terrorist forces, by preventing the growth of irrational, powerful forces, and also looking at who's funding them, looking at who's making money out of them, look who's, look who's supporting them. Those are issues that are very important, but also having an inclusive approach in our society to stop people being radicalised and ending up in that very dangerous place, which is a threat to all of us.